Hello everyone and welcome back to Coloring with Haley. Today is the 17th and that means it is my channel's anniversary that marks one year on YouTube. Thank you so much to everyone who has watched my videos over the year and I have something special planned for today. I am going to show you my complete collection of coloring books but it's going to be broken up into several videos because I have so many and I'm going to upload them all today so you can watch all of them at once. I would go live today, but I am gone on this day. I already had plans, and I don't think that our internet would handle me going live. So, we are going to do a comple complete collection overhaul. The old video was the first video I ever posted on YouTube, so it's time to redo it because it was before I had better lighting and everything else. So, you guys are going to be seeing in this first video, my Deborah Muller and Jade Summer books, and there's a lot of these, so let's get ready. I'm first going to show you the Zen Doodle books, and I have two of these. The first one is Magical Mermaid Kitties. This is a cute book. I do like Deborah Muller's books with the Zen Doodle Company. Um, I do believe I bought this when it first came out, but unfortunately, I have never colored anything in this one. I will show you some pages out of the books that I have colored in. Just haven't colored in that one. And then next, she did Dogs on Vacation. And I love this book. I have colored some pages in here. This one's super cute. You know, it is Dogs on Vacation. And let me find a page that I have done in here. I know I did a Chihuahua. And Deborah herself yeah, commented on the Chihuahua and said she loved the color palette that I used. This little Chihuahua here in Mexico. My only complaint with these Zen Doodle books is the paper. It's very nice, thick paper, but it takes alcohol markers a little bit weird. Uh, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's sort of like the ink pools on top of it rather than saturating down into it. I think sometimes it takes my cheaper uh, permanent markers, like Sharpies, better than it takes something like the Ohuhu or Cali Art markers. But let's see if I can find another page. There we go. Here is a dog camping. I really like this one. This one has such cute artwork in it. And they're visiting all kinds of places. So this one all is in New York. That one's at Mount Rushmore. Let's see. Bourbon Street. They're in karaoke. They're in Italy. It's just a really good book. I wish you would do another one in kind of the same vein. And now we are going on to her books that she publishes herself and puts on Amazon, and this first one is My Gothic Valentine. This is a good one she put out this year for Valentine's Day, um, and I like this one because I'm not a big fan of the cutesy Valentine's Day books. And well, this one's kind of cute and creepy, like it says it's, you know, gothic. And I did do a page in here, a couple I think. I did this girl here, and I like to put glitter on all my Deborah Muller pages. And I did a buddy color in here with Misty, I believe. Yeah, I think it was Misty. It's this page here. So this is more up my alley as far as like a Valentine's Day book goes. This is a great one. It has that nice matte cover on it. The nice, really soft cover. And I'm filming this, and I'm sure I'll get more Deborah Muller books by like the end of the year. So this is going to be outdated probably in a month or two at least for the Deborah Muller books because I just love her books and then I you know buy them pretty frequently. So next I have A Season of Love. I believe she put this book out at the end of last year and this is sort of like a Christmas and winter themed book. Not all the pages are Christmas. It would be a good one for Christmas in July. Here this one's sort of just winter themed but then you get some here like it's got the little reindeer and you know that's kind of more Christmassy. So I know I colored a few pages in here. Um, I did this moose. Here we go. And he is glittered up to the ornaments and the lights up there on his antlers. And there was a cow somewhere near the front of the book. Here he is. This was just kind of a basic winter themed one. But I really love how this one came out. Uh, the borders on this book are awesome. She's got different borders on each page. Like this one is candy cane. Here's one that's kind of just like you could do it in gold, like foiling. They kind of vary. This one's just got a regular border. So that's one of the things I really liked about this one. This one's got a squiggly border. The uh, uh, variations in the borders was really cool to me. Some of them got something kind of up here in the corner too. 
And again, like I said, this is a great one for Christmas in July. And I think this is her only Christmas book that I own. I know she has a bunch of them out. Next we have Space Girls and Aliens. I believe the last time I filmed a flip through, I said that Glamour Ghoul Pinups was my all-time favorite Deborah Muller book, but this book right here has taken over. If she releases another Aliens book, I'm buying it immediately. I just love this book. And I actually did the cover page on this one. Not the cover page, this book belongs to page. I never color those, but I did for this one. And this book features girls in space, but also aliens, and there's an alien cat. There's a robot. Let me try to get to an alien page. Let's see. There's an alien girl. There's another alien girl. And I have colored a lot in here. I did this girl here in her spaceship with her cat. I've done a lot of color alongs in here with Misty, if you like coloring in this book. This is a more recent one. We did this space girl, and yes, she does have glitter all over I do like Deborah's pinup style books, but there was just something about this one that I absolutely adore. I don't really know what it is. I think it's the little alien girls and the little robots. They're so cute. Here's another one. This would be a good book to finish, but I am already busy with my 10 books to finish. This would have been a good one to choose for it, though. I think that might be all of them in there for now. All right. Then we have the Glamour Ghouls pinups that I just mentioned. I would say it is still my second favorite book. It has that matte cover on it. And this is an older book, but still such a good one. It's pinup style ghouls, you know? It is exactly as it says, and I have done a lot of pages in here. Okay. I've done this one here, Life is Sweet, Miss Poison. Let's see. I've done this little devil girl. Psycho Angel is what her stomach says. I've done Miss Bones. Miss Bones was a fun page. I did this page last month. Her stomach says little monster, so we're going to call her the little monster. I've done the creepy girls are the cutest. Let's see. I know I've done more. There we go. I've done this Frankenstein's Bride here. She turned out good, too. I did all pain, no gain. I actually think I might have done this girl on camera. I did the Rock Hard page. I've done Devil It. She was an older one, but I really like how it turned out still. I don't know. I just really love this book. It's a fun one. It's classic. All right. Next, I have Bad Fairies. This is another really fun one. I enjoy this one a lot. And it actually feels thicker to me than Deborah's other books. Um, I don't know if it is or not, but it feels like it has more images. I only think I've done two or three in here. Here's one of the very first ones I did. This was my very first buddy color ever with Misty. She was the first person to ever ask me to do a buddy color here on YouTube, and you can kind of see the glitter there. And I really enjoy how this turned out. I did put my paint around the fire. I think I colored this page out of here first. I think this might have been one of the first pages I did this little fairy here. And I've done, yeah, I did this one here at the beginning. And again, I've done the paint around her wings. And of course, she is also glittered up. I know I'm kind of moving through these a little fast, but I've got a lot of books and I don't want these videos to be too long. I thought making them bite-sized might be better for viewing because you could watch them and then get up and go do something and then come back rather than coming back to like the middle of a video. But this is a great one with a lot of portraits. A lot of misbehaving fairies. They're awesome. Next they have Graveyard Queens. Can you tell that I like Deborah's pinups, portraits, and Halloween books? Because I absolutely do. Halloween is like my favorite time of year because Deborah puts out new books. This one didn't have a This Book Belongs to page. It just gets right into it. And it is Portraits of creepy girls and women. So this one is great. I love it. There are a lot of pages in here that are super nice. And I think I've colored something in here. Mm, yeah. I did this girl here with the lucky hat on and she's got her fingers crossed and she is also all glittered up. And I think that might be the only one I've done in here so far. 
I do need to come back to this book though because it is great. Next up, we have Fall Fairies. This is like the only fall themed book by Deborah Muller I have that's not Halloween style. And this is a great one. It's fairies once again, but with a nice fall theme to them. And I've done the second page here. I did the wind with blue paint and her wings are all glitter. I like these pages because they have a lot of mushrooms on them and I like doing the leaves in fall colors. Here's another example. Lots of them are little tiny fairies because, you know, she's like on a pumpkin. She's got to be little, but I think there are some larger fairies in here somewhere. Yeah, here we go. There's a bigger fairy. Here's one because she's sitting with the rabbits and she's larger than those, so. I know I've done another page in here. Let me see. There we go. This may have also been a color along with Misty. She and I color a lot out of Deborah Muller's books. She also has a pretty big collection of those. I have done the wings all in glitter, as you can see how much they are shining. And the paint is on the clouds and also on her feathers here. I like doing the fairies because you can kind of do whatever, you know, skin tone you want to do on the fairies. They are fairies, not real people, so you can make them purple, green, you know, you could do whatever. This is a cute book, though. And for the last Deborah Muller book that I have, I have Creepy But Cute. And this one, I think, I have it colored too many in. I did this weird fly or spider girl. I'm not sure what she is. I guess she'd be a fly because she has wings, right? Well, I did her wings with the purple paint and she's got a little bit of glitter. This is a fun page. This is a weird page. This is one of Deborah's like, kookier Halloween books. As you can see, we've got like, this girl doing ballet, but her hand's being picked at by the bird. We've got this girl here that says she does taxidermy. We've got this weird pumpkin girl here It says worms for sale. Looks like she's growing the worms out of herself, and she's got a bag of worms. I like Deborah's books like this. I think they're silly and they're fun. Got a little centaur. This girl doesn't have any limbs, you know. These are just her kind of fun, silly little books that I like a lot. And I think that might be... Oh, no. Oh yeah, I remember this page. I remember doing this girl with her pet bat and her tattoo that says bite me. I think she's a vampire and it looks like I have used glitter but no paint because her glasses there are glittery. This was a fun page to do. I remember it now. Yeah, so you've got this kind of like weird monster girl here with her pet dog or cat maybe. Not sure. It could be both. Then like a little ghost up here. We've got this girl with like the skull balloons. I don't know, it's just a really fun book. Even the page here is like a unicorn skull. So this is the last Deborah Muller book before we move to Jade Summer. I would say that these are the two artists I own the most books by because they just kind of are my favorite artists. Uh, Jade Summer for a while there wasn't putting out any books and they got back into it. I mostly own their Greystale stuff because I was telling myself you can't buy any Jade Summer books unless they're grayscale. Otherwise, I would own the entire collection of Jade Summer books. But I'm going to have to break down and buy the new Forest Animal book anyway. So, this is the original Chibi Horror. It can no longer... Well, actually, it may be able to be purchased like this. I can't remember if it can or if you have to buy the four-in-one. This is the one that has two copies in it. And I know that I've colored a lot in here. All right. First up, we have this awesome Grim Reaper girl here. This one was so much fun to do. I couldn't tell what was in the background of this page, so I just did it in black, and so it's sort of like she's coming maybe out of a portal here or something. And I think it turned out well, and I definitely glittered up the hourglass down there. And let's see. Recently, I know I did one in here. Okay, I did this girl here walking around in the swamp. This was a fun one to do. There is a lot of glitter and just kind of random places. You know, I did it on like the backpack straps, her watch, the uh, little lamp down here. Let's see, there's paint on the mushrooms and a little bit down here. And I think that might be it for paint. No, there's some in her eyes as well. All right, let's see. Yeah, here's the mermaid page that I did in May for Mermaid. And you guys liked this one a lot. I used a lot of 
green paint here down in the green water and there is a lot of glitter on this girl especially on her head i kind of glittered up all of her accessories this is a fun one to do i did the sky like she's kind of from an alien planet because she's sort of an alien looking mermaid you know they're kind of like bottom half fish top half human but she's got like webbed fingers and these weird ears and everything so she's not quite like a human maybe she's an alien mermaid hybrid that was a fun one I did this zombie page quite a while back I think this was last year and I used white paint on all of the broken glass here and on the door and in her eyes her eyes were already swirled like this I just followed the lines to make them look like that and there is a bit of glitter in her bow on her head there. This is a fun page to do. I didn't really know what to do with it. It's like a zombie schoolgirl. And I think it turned out pretty good because I don't exactly like coloring buildings like this. And there was a lot of trash on the ground to color around and everything. So this was one that I would say was more difficult for me before I kind of got used to grayscale. It was an earlier one that I colored, but I, I do like how it turned out. Let's see. Here is the clown. And I feel like, I don't know, why is she in this book? You know, this is Chibi Horror, and she's like a cute clown. She's definitely not like a murderous clown or anything. She's at a birthday party. I don't know why she's in here. I did use paint, though. There's paint on this year. There's paint on the lollipop. There's paint on the lace. There's paint on her shoes. There's glitter on her outfit down there. I don't know. I, th I thought she was a fun, cute clown, and I really like how this birthday page turned out. I'm not a big fan of clowns, so I kind of do, like, by default think all clowns are creepy. But I don't think she's creepy enough to warrant being in the chibi horror book. And that might have been it. Let me see. Yes, I do think that's it. And, of course, you get two copies of all the images. So here's, like, the Grim Reaper uncolored. We got this girl cutting up her teddy bears. We've got the witch holding the poor frog above the fire. We've got like this vampire singing. This is a good one. All right, and you guys have seen this book a lot. This is the Chibi Girls Grayscale 2 in 1. I am not going to show you every page of colored in here because it's almost all of them. And I want to save it for a completed book flip through that I will be doing soon because I don't have too many pages left. Now, I know for a certain you cannot buy this book like this anymore. If you want Chibi Girls 1 and 2 in the same book, you've got to buy the 4 and 1. I haven't colored the very first page yet, so that is a good example to show you what the art in this book looks like. Here you go. And I'll show you a few colored pages. This one got featured on Jade Summers' Facebook page. And I did use a lot of white here in her eyes and for the lace here in her dress and also on her little socks and... There is glitter on her outfit and on the beret on her hair. And if you're wondering where I got this spiral bound and why, this book was actually falling apart because I colored in it too much. So I took it to Office Depot and got it spiral bound. I think it may have cost like $5. But it was falling apart and I really needed it to not fall apart. Here's an older one that I've done. Um, this like Western style girl getting into the carriage. And there is a lot of glitter on the carriage all of that gold is all nice and glittery i used paint here on her goggles and in her eyes this is an old old one i don't know if i've ever showed this one on the channel because i believe i colored it before i had youtube this is a fun one to do let's find another one um what's a good one to show okay here we have the native american girl i believe i also did this one before i had a channel and I used a lot of paint for this white smoke here. And I used a little bit of glitter on this one. It's just on her jewelry right there. It's like just a touch of glitter. This is also a really fun one to do. I enjoyed coloring the wolf and everything in this one. And I can tell this is an older page because it looks kind of to me like that might be Bic marking markers. So that tells you kind of how old it is. It was before I was using my other sets of markers. Let's do one more in here. Let's see, what's a good one? What's a good one to show off? Okay, when I showed this page, you guys liked it a lot. I've got this ghost girl here, and I did all of her skin and hair in blue paint so that she would look more ghostly. And all of this back here is white paint. I believe her lacing here is also white paint. 
from and the birdcage and the key are in glitter. This is a really fun one to do. If I did another ghost, I think I would do the same thing. I would go over all of the black lines in a lighter colored paint to give them the appearance being that they are, you know, kind of ghostly and just floating through the world rather than actually existing. I don't have too many pages left though before I am finished with this book and you will see a completed book flip through when I am done with it. Okay, next up I have the Kawaii Grayscale Coloring Book. This is another one that you can't buy. You have to get the Kawaii 4-in-1 if you want both of the books. And I think they're Kawaii and Kawaii Fantasy is what's combined in here. I haven't done too many pages in here because the Chibi Girls one kind of took over for a while. So I did this for St. Patrick's Day. All the clouds are done in white paint. And I don't see any glitter on here. Yeah, I don't think there's glitter on here. I think it's just all the clouds in white paint. Um, let's see. I did this girl here. She is the genie. I think this might have been the very first page I did in here. And there is a lot of glitter on this one. It is on all of her jewels, even up there on her head and down here on her waist. This is a very fun one to do. If I did this one again, I probably would go over the lines in the water with paint, but I suppose I can always go back and do that. There's nothing stopping me. Let's see. I believe I've done some toward the front, maybe just one. Yeah, all right. I did this one for a Valentine's Day page. She's like Cupid, I believe, and I did this in all reds and pinks. And she is a little bit glittery there on like the body of her outfit and her nails. And I don't think I used, no, I've used a little bit of paint or gel pen to do uh, the shine on the hearts. And I think that's it out of this one. That would be a book that I would want to finish after I am done with the Chibi Girls. Next up is Cute Fairies, and I know I've done a few in here. And I believe this one should still be purchasable in the same exact format. It's got doubles in it, so. Here is one. I did this, like, Hawaiian-type fairy. I don't know, to me she just screamed island. And it doesn't look like I've used white paint aside from her pupils there, and there is no glitter on here. That is a bit unusual for me, but it doesn't look like there's any glitter. I did this fairy here, setting on the flower. White paint, of course, on the clouds up there in the background, and glitter on the lace on her legs and also on, like, her little necklace. This is a really fun page to do. This one was super cute. I do like coloring fairies. I think they're fun to color because you can do a lot with their wings. And that might be all that I've colored in here. Yeah, just those two pages. All right, and then we have the like fairies, the kind of adult, more like sexy fairies. They're kind of naked sometimes, you know, like barely covered up. So I know I've done a few pages in here. There she is, and she's kind of not really covered up too much. You know, they're kind of like little skimpy clothes. And the images also are just a little bit more difficult, I think, in this one. They're a little bit more grown up. But I know I've done at least a page in here. Here we go. I did this tiny little fairy with, like, the big dragon peeping through. I can remember doing this page because the marker I was using back here on the wood ran out, so that is why it is two different colors. Um, I did outline her wings with paint. I wanted her wings to seem kind of like they were see-through, almost, so it's like you're seeing the wood through them behind her. And I really like how the eye of my dragon turned out here. I used some paint on these cherries or berries, what have you, and the dragon's eye. And I, that might be the only page, so I feel like perhaps I did another one. Maybe I did not. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. I must be thinking of the cute fairies book. Okay, next up, I know I've colored quite a bit in this. And this is mermaids. This is another one that's like adult. They're kind of, you know, skimpy clothes and everything. And there are a few men in here, too. Here's the cover page. All right. 
I get immediately into it with this girl here. I like doing sunsets in this book a lot. I'll do a sunset for the sky and then kind of black out the foliage and the birds and stuff so that it gives it more of the sunset appearance. I did use some paint for the waves back here in the water, but I didn't use it up around here. And of course, she is glittered up her nails and her jewelry is all glittery. Let's see. I have done this lady here under the water and I don't really like coloring water so you would think that I wouldn't color in this book so much but there's something about it and I can tell that I have smudged paint right there and there is paint on this page and it is separating out the different colors of water here. I really do like how she turned out with all the different blue colors and the yellow shell and her forehead is a little bit glittery. She's got some kind of insignia there and you can see it on her nails too. This is a fun page to color. I think this is one of the first pages I did in this book. You can see that I have used white paint down here in all of this water and I tried to do that thing where you put the paint on the toothbrush and like flick it around to make stars but I didn't really like how it turned out, so I've never done it again. And I also tried to do the thing where you take white paint and make like the moon glow, but once again, I didn't exactly like how it turned out, so I've never done it again. The only thing that I really carried over from this page was doing the water with the white or blue outline. And she has a bit of glitter on her too, her nails, her jewelry that she's wearing, that's all glittered up. But this was a fun one, and you can tell what I mean by they're kind of scantily clad though. I did this one. This one is a really fun one. I tried to make it look like it was a sunset here transitioning into nighttime, and I really do like how this turned out. I used a lot of paint on all of the different, I guess, layers of the sunset, and of course on the water here. There's a bunch of water all over her. He didn't have any on him. This is one of the pages that has an actual man in it. They rarely ever do. She has a little bit of glitter on her headpiece there. This is like one of the pages I'm the proudest of how it turned out, and I did color this one quite a while ago. Let's see, let's see. I know I've done a few more in here for sure. You got these. You see, she's like barely wearing any clothes at all. She's not wearing any clothes, actually. These two here, I did this one like a shark lady mermaid, and this is a regular lady mermaid. I don't know if they're friends or enemies. Maybe they're getting ready to fight. Maybe they're going into war together. There is white paint on this weapon here and here and around the bubbles and they both have a little bit of glittery jewelry. This is a fun one to color. I like coloring the mermaids in different skin colors too. You got this one. They are like embracing. This is a fun one to do as well. I kind of did green water. Maybe they are like lake mermaids rather than ocean mermaids. And I did one of them purple and one of them pink. I kind of themed them a little bit. The white paint here is around the bubbles and the glitter is going to be on one of the mermaid's lipstick. Here we go. Can you see that? And the jewelry on all of them and she has glittery nails too. I like doing the nails in glittery paint. I don't know why. I just really do. I think I started doing it in Deborah Muller books and I've just continued doing it in all of my books. We have the little girl mermaid here hugging the dolphin. This was an earlier page, I can recall doing it. Uh, and I think I've just used glitter on the jewelry here on the girl. I don't think I did any on her nails. And I think the star on her face too. No paint on this one, but this one was a fun one to do. It's a cute page. That might be, no. Okay. Here is the mermaid like coming up to the ship. I'd like to think she's a siren and she has been singing to these sailors and she has attracted them finally. Lots of paint all over the water. I did it here, kind of up on the rocks where the wave was splashing. She's got glitter on her nails and on these spots on her shoulder. This was a really fun page and I really love how it turned out. I like her blue and green hair that I did that matches her tail. This was a spectacular page to do. I have a lot of fun in this mermaid's book. I need to come back to it. I just haven't returned to it in a while. That should be the last page in here that I've done, but you never know. There could be some more surprises. We'll see. What is the first page? That one? Okay. That was the last page. So, getting to my first two grayscale books. Um, this is my second ever grayscale book, Vampires by Jade Summer. And you can tell it is an earlier grayscale book before I really knew how to work with grayscale. 
I still think this page turned out pretty well. This was before I had glitter gel pens. They're just metallic, so they're not really going to show up as glittery. I didn't really understand how that worked yet. This was done mostly in Bic marking markers. I can tell that's definitely what I used for her skin tone. It looks like that's probably what I used on the dress as well. I would say the background as well. Her hair might have been something different. I've got this one here. The guy biting the girl. And you can tell this is before I had any paint because I would have totally done all of the raindrops in paint I would have done on her face. I would have done that in paint. The water on him and her. I think they were done in gel pen maybe. Not too sure. And again, it's metallic rather than being glittery, so it doesn't really show up too well. This looks like it might have been after I got my first real set of markers because that is definitely not a skin tone that you could have gotten out of the Sharpies or Bic marking markers. I got this lady here that has bitten the sky. I think she turned out cute. I did a lot of the vampires with a gray skin tone just because I didn't really have anything else to use as a skin tone. It was kind of that tan color or you know, gray, and I used definitely that can color on him. It looks like I may have at this time had a couple of other marker sets because I think some of these browns and reds would be not the big marking markers, but I definitely didn't have my gel pens and paint at this time because that is still the metallic gel. We have this warrior lady, and this is definitely all done in the big marking markers. I can tell just by looking at the colors on it. But it looks like I may have had white gel pens because her teeth and this wolf's teeth are like very white. Unnaturally so. Not, not you know, what the grayscale the white leaves behind. But no paint yet because I would have done the clouds and I probably would have put some on her sword as well. Let's see. This would be a good book to come back and do the second set of pages on just to see how I have evolved. Now, I think this was probably one of the last pages I did out of here. I still did not have paint markers or the, you know, actual glitter gel pens, just metallic. But I was starting to get more markers with, you know, more skin tones and everything going on there. Look at all these grays. And I mean, look at her skin tone. And some of the colors he's wearing definitely are not Bic marking markers. And I think, yeah, that was the last one in there. And now, for my very first ever grayscale book. It's a mess, but get ready. This is Light and Dark Fantasy Grayscale by Jade Summer, and I actually think they don't make this book anymore, which is a shame because I would like to rebuy it. It was one of the first books that had 50 unique images, and I would love to be able to redo some of them. Okay, here we go. Oh boy, we got this girl here on the dragon, and I don't know what I was doing with the horn here. It was before I had learned really to color with gel pens because it's super scratchy. I don't think that that's going to show up on camera. Maybe if I hold it closer. No, it's not going to show up. It's very, very scratchy uh, and it's not glittery. It's metallic. I would have done this with glitter nowadays. The dragon turned out pretty good, all things considered, for being an early page that I colored. I liked that I did do all of the individual scales, you know, kind of a darker color. This may have been with big markers looking at her skin tone and kind of just the general colors on the page. And then I did this companion page here, or what I think would be a companion page, this unicorn, and I made him god awfully bright pink for some reason. And you can kind of see, here let me hold it up here, the lines in the sky there before I kind of got down the hang of coloring with marker. His horn is metallic. I would have done it glittery. I probably wouldn't have picked green. You know, it was before I learned a lot about colors that go together and everything. But you got to start somewhere, right? So let's see what else I have done in here. I know I have done quite a bit. This one did not turn out too bad, but not great. This was before I knew that the metallic sharpies kind of eat up all your lines on your page. So don't ever use them. I tried to fix it with like a white gel pen, but the Sharpies just ate that up too, so it didn't turn out too well. And all the gems are metallic rather than being glittery and shiny. And I, 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 it's hard to see. I don't know how well it will show up, but I wasn't too great at getting like the lines together with the 
pin. It's not going to show up, I don't think, but you can tell there's a lot outside the lines with the gel pins on this. This definitely looks like it was a Bic page. I can just tell by her skin tone because they kind of had one skin tone and I would use it on everything. Let's see, let's see. No, I got more somewhere. Okay, we got the turtle. I think this one turned out fine. I think this one may have been a more recent one that I at some point came back to because I've actually used paint or gel pen on the bubbles. But I haven't used glitter yet. So it would have been sometime before they started the channel, maybe like 2018. This one turned out pretty good, I think, all things considered. I do like this page. Let's see. I started this, never went anywhere with it because I didn't like how it was coming out. I did this deer creature. It turned out okay. I don't know if I like the color scheme that I totally used on the deer. This was definitely Sharpies and Bic markers before I had kind of, you know, more markers to color with. I would have definitely done all of those flames in paint and all of that water and all of those clouds in paint. This would have been a page that was like absolutely covered in paint and I probably would have done the swirls on him in glitter as well. I did this demon lady and this is one where I tried to do stars with the dots. I don't like those. I don't do them anymore. She turned out okay though. You can see her skin is rather splotchy. I was still definitely learning how to do skin. But this seems like it may have been when I had a, another set of markers, not just my Bix. Started this Pegasus, never finished it, didn't like where it was going. Let's see. Did this, like, witch lady. This was definitely all with Bic markers. That is metallic rather than glitter. Same with her nails. I totally would have done all of this in paint. Looks like I did metallics up here for these. You know, trying to get, like, a glittery effect on them. Let's see. Yeah, I did for sure. They're just kind of shiny. It's not the same glitter. It probably looks the same on camera, but it definitely doesn't look the same in person. Did this guy again with the dots in the sky. I don't like those. His skin tone is also Bix, so probably the whole page is Bix. Maybe a few of these might have been another marker, especially that color right there and this green. That may have been something else. Started this page, didn't like the color scheme I was using on it. Definitely messed up big time on her skin, as you can see. Again, I was still really learning how to do skin. But I think the page that turned me off was the color scheme I used. I think I didn't like the purple and green. Let's see, let's see. I know I've got a few more in here. Um, somewhere. All right, did this ogre? I think he turned out fine. There is a lot of lines here in like the grayscale there's some on his arm i believe this was the marker itself running out not me like stopping coloring and then coming back and then stopping and coming back i think that was just the marker running out i tried to do some of the chains but again they're in metallic not glitter there's no paint on this one and it doesn't i don't think i would have put paint on it even if i had paint markers it just doesn't look like it all right so this one is a hot mess I learned that you can't use black on grayscale. Maybe that was obvious to some people. Definitely it wasn't obvious to me. I tried to use it. It eats up all the lines and all the grayscale. I tried to make him a pretty horse, but it didn't work out. Here is one that would be the most recent. I can tell because I have done paint on the water. And she looks pretty good. That's definitely like the Cali Art markers for sure. And I've done the water. Her nails are still, I think, metallic gel pen now, and same for the necklace. But I was at that point doing the water, but it looks like I wasn't doing clouds or smoke. And that might have been the last page I did in here. Yeah, it looks like it was. So thank you for looking at my massive collection of Jade Summer and Deborah Muller books. I'm going to try to put them all on the screen, but it's kind of a heavy pile, and I've just realized that. All right, let's try to get them all here. And I'm sure that this will be outdated in a few months because I love buying books from both of these. Well, I should say artist and company because Jade Summer is not quite an artist. There we go. This is part one of my coloring book collection. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for part two.